you know that one simple mistake could cost you hundreds on your first Carnival cruise? These 21 expert tips will save you money, time, and stress. Oh, and you'll definitely want to stick around to the end because we've got a bonus tip that you cannot afford to miss. So if you're ready, let's dive in and start with tip number one. Okay, so Carnival loves to take pictures of you, but a big tip. Don't splurge on those big photo packages unless you're eyeing a specific one. It's cheaper just to download the individual photos. Trust me, those packages can add up fast. Bruh. Speaking of spending, remember this. <laughs> the cost of the cruise itself doesn't cover everything, specialty dining, spa treatment, souvenirs, all that's extra. So it's super easy to go over budget. Make sure you plan for those extra costs before you even get on board. Don't forget about gratuities. If you have prepaid them, you'll see charges on your sale and sign card. It's usually about $16 per person per day for regular cabins. And if you have a suite, it's $18. So there's also an 18% service charge for some of the restaurants. And if you go to the spa, so keep an eye on that. Carnival has some amazing food, but don't just hit the buffet. The main dining room has some pretty cool options like the sea day brunch. Our kids used to call it fancy breakfast. <laughs> Plus the buffet changes daily. So make sure you check that schedule. This one is huge. You will not board the ship without proper documents. Whether it's a passport or a birth certificate with an ID, you need to have actual paper copies. No digital copies are allowed. So if you forget get them, you can kiss that cruise goodbye. Not every carnival ship is going to be the same, so I want you to make sure you pick one that fits your vibe. Some people even choose based on the cruise director or the kind of shows they got on board. So do a little research before you book to find that perfect match for your style. And when you're choosing your cabin, don't just go for the cheapest, because if you're claustrophobic, you're going to want to avoid the interior cabins. We actually love the porthole cabin. They give you a window, but it's at a lower price. They're like a hidden gem on board. Now, we always recommend, of course, using a TA or travel agent. They can hook you up with perks like onboard credit or even treats in your cabin. Sometimes they can even find better deals than what's on Carnival's website. Do not just show up without a plan. You need to know what activities you want to do on and off the ship. This way you won't overspend and everybody stays happy. So, Travel insurance is a must. Let me say that again. Travel <laughs> insurance is a must. Now, too many things can go wrong from flight delays to accidents on excursions. In the end, it's just better to be safe than sorry. Do not be that person who gets their stuff confiscated. Check what you're allowed to bring. For example, you can bring a 12 pack of soda or a bottle of wine, but leave that high proof liquor at home. That Carnival Cruise Hub app, that's going to be your best friend while you're on board. You'll use it to check dining reservations, chat with your family members, keep track of all the activities. So make sure you download it before you leave so you're not dealing with that slow Wi-Fi on the ship. This one is important. You don't want to fly in the same day that your cruise actually departs. And that's because flights get delayed all the time. So flying in a day early means that you start your vacation stress-free. Now, Carnival offers some amazing excursions, but they sell out pretty fast. So you want to book them as soon as possible. If you book through Carnival, the ship is going to wait for you. Let me say it again. <laughs> if you book through the cruise line, they will not leave you behind. But if you go with a third party and you don't make it back in time, that's when you wind up on an episode of Peer Runners. <laughs> So good luck. When you get in your cabin, there's going to be a bottle of water there. Don't pay for that expensive bottle of water in your cabin. You can order a 12 pack in advance for about the exact same price. Or you could just bring your own refillable water bottle and fill up on board. Now you see your sale and sign card is going to be your key to everything on board. We've been trying to tell you that throughout the video. From shopping to activities, all of your charges are going to go to this card. So make sure you keep track of your spending. You don't want to be surprised when you check Check your account at the end of the cruise and you like where that come from. Booking last minute will definitely cost you more. Carnival releases their itineraries years in advance so you can lock in your rate early and you can always just adjust it later if the price drops. Okay, this is a big one. <laughs> Roaming charges can and will add up quickly 
As soon as you set sail, switch your phone to airplane mode to avoid those huge bills from your sail carrier. And you also want to be mindful of the countries you travel to. Because going back to a couple of tips before, if you got the wrong time on your phone, that could make you become a peer runner too. Especially <laughs> if you're a third party. Or just make the ship wait if you're booked through Carnival. Always use the safe in your cabin. Double check it before you leave for anything like your passport, your wallet, or your camera. And here's another thing. Cruise lines are only liable for what's in the safe. So make sure you use it. Y'all see the theme here, right? <laughs> no one wants to be the infamous peer runner. Always make sure you're back to the ship on time, especially if you booked your excursion through a third party. The ship won't wait. I hope you understand <laughs> what we're trying to tell you, okay? that These are important tips, man. So if you need any medical equipment or special accommodations, let Carnival know before you get on board. This could be a CPAP machine or if you're a special diet, they can help you as long as you give them enough notice. And that's it. 21 tips to make your first Carnival cruise smooth sailing. If you found this helpful, I want you to give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more cruise tips. And before you go, be sure to check out this video, 13 mistakes to avoid on your first Carnival cruise. You won't want to miss it.